rolling. Okay, as a next step, we're going to show if you need to extend a roll or extend a run. If you have one that's already towards the end and you need to add another piece on, what's really nice is that these act as threads and you can screw them together as a fastener. It holds very tight. First thing you want to do is the one that's going to be on the inside is take a pair of pliers and just do a little bit of a bend towards the inside on the thread so that it wants to go towards the inside. Just like that you can see it's angled a little bit towards the, the center of the tube. That makes it easier to thread in. Uh, also very important is you want to make sure that you're threading in the direction of flow. So the one that goes on the inside, the air will be coming from that tube and into the one that's on the outside. So the airflow will naturally go out of this one and into this one in a nice clean fashion. If the air flowed the other way, it'd be catching on this possibly and creating a little flapping, which we don't want to happen. So once we have that bent in, if our air flow is going in this way, then this one threads into this one. Just twist it right on. You can feel in there how far it's going in and you want to overlap by about three threads. So approximately about two and a half inches or so. And then you can see with those threaded in like that, that this is a very strong connection. Pretty much impossible to pull that apart. Even so, you'd want to make sure to back that up with a zip tie. See where are we? Right there. So we'll wrap a zip tie around that so it has the added mechanical tightness of that. And then we seal up the joint with the same tape. Once you get the tape started, there we go. Right over the seam. Wrap it right around, seal it down nice and tight. Now you have a very nice, very strong, airtight connection.